Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So today I have a super fun spend the day with me in New York City vlog. Of course we are starting with a really quick Lulu's fall fashion haul. I have about five pieces from Lulu's to show you all. So special thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And today is also a self-care day for me. I'm going to go down, I'm going to get my nails done, I need to get a wax. I have a dentist appointment today to, to get my teeth cleaned at Beam Street, one of my favorite places to go for any kind of dental work. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and we are going to end the day with a sample sale. I have an invitation to like a private sample sale with Mont's. I absolutely love this brand. So I'm gonna take you guys to a sample sale with me. So it's gonna be a super fun day. We're gonna start with my outfit of the day because of course it's from Lulu's. All right guys, to start, I am wearing this super cute crop top. It's a long sleeved ribbed crop top with kind of like a mock turtleneck from Lulu's. If you were to watch my previous fall styling haul that feature all Lulu's products, you would have seen this crop top. I absolutely love it. If it's still available, of course, I will link it down below. And everything I'm showing you today is a US size six or medium. Now, let's get into these pants. You guys know I live for a good pair of denim jeans like the, the the crazier the better and I'm really into light wash jeans right now really into very high waist jeans with any kind of distress you know elements I'm loving distressed jeans right now especially long ones that I can wear with my uh, booties and my boots for fall and for winter and these just fit the bill. So these are new in from Lulu's. These are actually a part of the Kemper curated collection. Kemper of Joe and Kemp on Instagram is a content creator and she just launched this collaboration with Lulu's and there's so many curated amazing pieces and when I saw these denim jeans I knew that they were going to be fire on because they are high waisted, they're super long, they have the distress on the, on the knees and I mean you can wear them all fall winter long and because of the distressing and also the shape of them it would look so good with just any boot or a high heel booty that you have in your wardrobe. These are amazing. They are organic cotton. They feel great on. They don't have a lot of give. They're really gonna suck you in at the waist. I went with my normal size, which is a US size six, and it fit, these jeans fit incredible. Like I love how they look. Um, hopefully they are still available, and if so, you know where they're gonna be. I'm gonna link them down below for you all, along with a few other like denim jeans that I'm loving from Lulu's right now. Like Lulu's just, they have such such an amazing array and collection of jeans that will get you through the fall and the winter season. And for the shoe, I just went with my favorite Celine boots. Y'all know I wear these boots with everything. But Lulu's does have some incredible boots on their website, very similar to these. So I will link those down below if any of you are looking for affordable, very trendy, um, very well-made boots for fall and winter. I will link a few of my favorites from Lulu's down in the description box. So that is my outfit of the day and the first item that I got in new, which are these denim jeans. Let's get into the rest of the pieces that I got in from the Kemper collaboration curation. All right guys, so I might be the most excited about this piece and it is this bomber poofy cropped coat. Oh, you guys. It is life. First of all, this color is everything. It's gonna go with everything in my wardrobe. The poofy like bomber-esque cropped jackets are still in and Lulu's has so many amazing ones. I actually got another one very similar to this from Lulu's as well last season and I rocked that into the ground. It's very similar to this one, but I like the fabric of this one. So soft. The inside of it is very, very warm. So yes, this coat is gonna keep you warm. I love the kind of asymmetrical thick black zipper that it has as well. And just kind of like, this almost makes a scarf around your neck. And it's such a great coat. I'm loving the little sleeves here at the end. It is like a ribbed knit 
to keep your hands and palms warm. I went with a medium and I would say go with your normal size. It's meant to be a little bit oversized just because of the style. That's how it's made, but I absolutely love it. I also love that it has pockets, which is great. Um, it's just an overall super cute, like very stylish, um, very on trend bomber coat for fall and winter. And it is warm y'all. Like I only had it on for about five minutes while I'm modeling it for you, for you all. But I was hot, super hot, burning up. Like it will definitely keep you warm. I will link this down below. I believe it might also come in another color as well. Everybody needs a super cute crop bomber for fall and for winter. Especially if you're more of a street style, you have more of an edgy style. This can definitely elevate any like basic outfit. All right guys, so next up is probably my next favorite thing from the haul and it is this ribbed knit dress. It is absolutely incredible. The fabric on this is it's stretchy but it's gonna suck you in and it's going to hold you in. I love the color of this, it's like a mocha brown. If you have a lot of nudes and neutrals in your wardrobe, this dress will fit perfectly into your wardrobe, into your collection. It is long sleeve, it is ribbed. The ribbing is thick, like it's going to keep you warm. It does have a considerable amount of stretch, but not enough to size down. Go with your normal size with this dress. I got a medium and it fits perfectly like to the T. There is no zipper. You put it overhead. I mean it's very very form fitting almost like a bodycon and it does have a little tiny slit here just for added you know detailing. It's a very plain dress but it packs a big punch. I think this would be great for like a fall date night out or even like a girls night out in the fall or in the winter paired with like a over the knee boot or a tall boot or even like a, a sock booty and a long trench coat. It would be just a vibe and a look. I'm loving the ribbing on the neck and the seams are kind of unfinished which I like there. Everywhere else it is finished though. So just a really quick, easy, super cute dinner girls night out type of dress. Happy to have this in my wardrobe. Again, I went with my normal size, which is a size medium um, and it fits great. I believe this does come in a few other colors. So in addition to linking this one down below, hopefully it's still available. I will just link some super cute basic dresses that I'm loving from the Lulu's website because they have so many good ones and I'll link them down below in the description box for you all. And last but certainly not least are these. These like white leather like boots are everything. I'm loving this detailing with like the fold down. I think this is so cute. I paired these boots with the dress that I just showed you guys and I actually love like the modness of how that looks. I believe these boots are really giving mod. They do have that kind of rounded flat toe. I'm loving the shape of the heel. It's very squared off. There is a zipper on the inside here. You do step into them, but this zipper helps in case you need like more space. These are actually pretty wide. So I believe if you have wider calves that these would work for you as well. I went with my normal size, which is a US size 10 and they fit perfectly. They're also really comfortable. Even given the heel height, they are super comfortable. I know a lot of you have been looking for white boots. I have another pair of white boots and every time I wear them, I get so many questions about white boots. These are so affordable and so well made. They feel like butter, y'all. And this added detailing, it just makes them look so much more expensive. Like I absolutely love these. Hopefully they're still available on the Lulu site. If so, of course, I'm going to link them in the description box for you guys, along with some more boots that I'm loving from the Lulu's website. So that is it. Those are all five, I believe. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it's actually four pieces new that I've gotten in from Lulu's. Mostly everything is from the Kemper collaboration with Lulu's and her curation and selection of pieces. So yes, everything is linked down below. Special thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring this portion of the video. If it's not available, I have linked similars. All right guys, so now that we have shown you some new end pieces, I think what I'm gonna do is head downtown and start with getting my nails done because they look a hot mess. 
you guys i have been working non-stop since I got back from Miami. If you watched the Miami vlog, thank you for watching. But I have been working nonstop since I got back. Like literally, I spent the entire day yesterday editing six campaigns that I had to turn in. The day before that, I actually shot those six campaigns. You would have seen that video previously, I believe, um, when I shot with Sweetie. But it's just been very, very busy. And now I'm kind of in the middle of a move as well. So I'm really, trying to push through and finish all of my work before I actually go back down to Miami again which will be very soon but this time it will be to close on my house to move in and I'm gonna be there for a good while so I'm trying to push through y'all I am trying to push through so today and tomorrow are going to be like my self-care days and yes we need to get these nails done we need to get waxed we need to get these teeth cleaned and of course we need to do some sample sale shopping when i'm ready to head down to soho because that's mainly the area i'm going to be in today for all of those things i'm going to take you guys with me all right cheers to another spend the day with me in new york city vlog it's going to be one of the last ones i don't know how i feel about it actually i'm kind of happy because y'all no joke it took me like an hour to film the pieces of the haul that you just saw because it's so loud people are honking people are playing their music someone is drilling honestly i cannot wait to get to miami to the quiet i need it i need the quiet okay i also need to film a story today um i'm doing something really cool there's a new series coming out uh, and it kind of like follows a group of friends living in harlem now y'all know i love harlem so I'm very happy about this show coming out, but I was tapped by someone to do something cool to kind of commemorate this show. So I have to film a little Instagram reel about when I fell in love with Harlem. And so I think that's really cool. So I will pop you guys on a tripod while I record this for them. I'm gonna change it to a different outfit. Hopefully it's probably gonna already be up by the time this video goes live. So if you wanna see the whole thing, Head on over to Instagram at Monroe Seal. Check out my reels or my IGTV. I don't know which one is going to be on yet. And yeah, let me know what you think about my story of when I fell in love with Harlem. All right, so let's change. Let's do that. And then we'll head downtown. Yeah. Oh, there's so much work in my email right now. Like, ah, I don't even want to look at it. All right, guys, so I changed into this uh, sweatshirt that says can't love the culture without the people. This brand is my girl Vanna Vane's brand. You would have seen her in a previous vlog where I went to the Mercedes Benz um, electric car unveiling and there was an Alicia Keys performance, but I just thought it would be good to shout her out without shouting her out <laughs> in this video and for the pants i just paired it with my margella jeans i get so many questions about these jeans they are true to size just go with your normal size a lot of times people ask me like well what's your size and i'm just like uh, unless we're the same size does it matter <laughs> but anywho in all of my jeans i get a size 28 okay i'm a u.s size 6 just go with your normal size in jeans they are pretty true to size so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my phone and i'm gonna film like little areas around my house i feel like i'm gonna film a little piece of this book more of my books some of my art and then I'm going to have myself like come in right here and stop and then answer the question. To make the video a little more interesting instead of me just sitting there out of nowhere telling people how I fell in love with Harlem. I'll show them a bit of like my life in Harlem and then get to the question. Don't even really know what I'm going to say. I kind of know because I actually really do know exactly when I fell in love with Harlem. But I'll let you guys see the behind the scenes of that. And then if you want to know more, you can head to my Instagram and check it out. Because it should be up. I'm going to put on a red lip because I just feel like it'll pop better on screen. Refresh my makeup. And then start with this reel.
guys so I just finished filming it's like two minutes long and it's only supposed to be one minute so I'm gonna see if I can cut it down a bit but that was really fun like I really just spoke from my heart for two minutes I didn't even really have to think about it awesome awesome by the way I will link this down below from my girl Vanna Vane it's super cozy I got the size medium and I believe it also comes in a t-shirt and a hoodie as well I mean she also has some merch I'm gonna spend maybe like 20 minutes editing this I have a few emails I need to answer from brands a lot of work is in my <laughs> email right now like at least maybe like seven campaigns I need to see if I want to do or not this lip is still a fiery lip stain it's the one I wear all the time I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and also if you'd like you can head on over to my Instagram and leave me a comment tell me what you thought of uh, what I said about why I fell in love with Harlem I will check back in with you guys when I am heading down to Soho all right guys so i'm getting ready to head out to my dentist appointment and this is the look i put back on the lulu's jeans this is a really old top from i can't even think of the brand anymore and my lulu's jacket today's scent we are going to do let's do bald Freak. so i finally get to wear this coat which will be great since i won't be in new york much longer and probably won't have a need for it all right for the bag I'm gonna carry my Gucci camera bag I'll link this down below I'll show you the full look and then we will call a lift and head to my appointment she said my teeth health looks good I just got a cleaning I do have a cavity one so I have to go get that fixed hopefully we can get that fixed before I head to Miami but I have another cleaning in four months and it's right during New York Fashion Week so I will be back in New York so that'll be great now I think I'm gonna go do some shopping until 5 p.m. when it's time for me to do the sample sale preview.
right guys, just finished getting my wax. I got a Brazilian. Literally took 10 minutes, which is why I love this place and they're super thorough. Sorry, this pimple won't actually let me be great. So now I'm just waiting on an Uber. It's like 20 minutes till five. So I'm gonna head to the preview of the Mont's sample sale. The sample sale opens to the public tomorrow. So insiders get to shop it a day early, which is great. Cause you really get to see everything they have. And to get on this list, you just have to follow 260 sample sale and like make sure you're keeping up with their events, engaging with their Instagram and such. And you can also get like invited to these early previews. I'm gonna just wait for my ride and I'll try and get some behind the scenes of the sample sale. Sometimes they don't like you to film in there, but maybe I'll get something on my phone for you guys. leaving uh, the Mont sample sale. They also had Cecile Bonson there as well. I know Janae would have loved it in there. I'm gonna show you guys what I got tomorrow because it's gonna be super dark in my apartment, but it was really good. I did manage to get a little bit of like how it is in the store. There are no dressing rooms. You just gotta go with the flow, try things on without caring. I did get three things. So yeah, I'll show you guys tomorrow. It's still early. So I think I'm gonna go to the Dutch for dinner. Get myself a drink. I deserve it. I had a rough night last night. So I've already taken you guys there a couple of times. But they have really good, um, this hot fried chicken and their French 75s are good too. So we're gonna head there since it's right around the corner.
it is another day i always say that these vlogs are just going to be one day but it always ends up being two so yesterday i ended up going to soho to beam street to get my teeth cleaned my teeth are nice and clean um i do still have to go to my dentist to get um, a cavity dealt with but other than that they said that my oral health looks great considering i hadn't been to the dentist since before covid happy about that so here is your reminder to schedule your teeth cleaning i put back on this dress from lulu's from the kemper um collection at lulu's uh because i'm actually meeting a friend for an early well not early but for lunch and i thought this would be a cute look and i'm gonna pair it with an over the knee boot but i did after beam street i did end up going to get um, a wax at my favorite place diana wax and spa they're so quick and efficient i got a brazilian wax i think once i move to miami i'm going to look into getting laser but i have to be in one place long enough to actually get all of the treatments so yeah i'm just holding off until i move for that after that i went to the sample sale oh my god y'all I went to the Mont sample sale and it was so good. They also had Cecile Bontz in there. I hope I'm saying that correctly as well. Um, I know my girl Janae loves that brand. I think she has a few dresses by her. Those dresses are very poofy, very girly. You can kind of toughen them up with boots. I mean, it was crazy in there, y'all. They only allowed you to be in there for 45 minutes. But the good thing is, once you checked out, you could come right back in. So that was great. I ended up going in twice because I felt like I just didn't have enough time to see everything. You guys know, Mott's is such a cool, very just like edgy brand. And I knew exactly what i wanted when i went in the prices on everything were pretty good especially for months like things were maybe like 75 percent off usually a skirt from them is like 800 dollars. all of the skirts were i believe 200 the shoes were 150 the tops were 100 the jeans which are like some of the best jeans were 150 i mean of course this is still pretty expensive but for this brand it's cheap like I, you can't find anything online and they have never had a sample sale this is the first time they've ever had a sale i got some things i'm going to show you guys what i got i also got a piece from cecile only because i mean the brand is so like up and coming i thought i couldn't pass up i actually got a dress for like 200 bucks so let me show you what i got from months first and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I believe it is Mots. Even though I, I, I hear a lot of people saying Mots say. I don't think, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but I don't know. I think it's Mots. So this piece, I actually almost bought full price because I wanted it so bad. But I'm so glad that I was able to find this patchwork skirt with multiple pockets at the sample sale for 200 bucks. Ugh. I love the colors. I love the color block. This is so great for fall. Can you see it with like a super chunky sweater? Either this color, this color, or this color. And like a tall white boot. Oh, I cannot wait. And this is a sample, as you guys can see. And I am not sample size. So you just have to try things on. This is definitely my size. It's a true size six and it fits perfectly i'm so glad i found this so one thing i noticed in these sample sales i've been going to sample sales in new york city for years this sample sale was a 260 sample sale so if you're interested in following them and seeing when the sales are dropping follow them on instagram at 260 sample sale or go to their website 260 sample sale and sign up for their email alerts and you'll get emails when all of the sample sales are happening I mean, sometimes you can get a VIP to go the day before the sale opens to the public, which is where I went to. So we got to kind of shop all the good stuff before everyone else, which was great. One tip that I've learned, because they don't have dressing rooms, literally you just have to either get naked right there or kind of your, tuck yourself into a corner and there are also different sexes there. So like if you're shy, just wear something really tight. I would suggest if you go to a sample sale to wear like leggings and like a super tight shirt and a jacket that you can take off just so you could slide things on, under or over. But one thing I do is if I don't feel like trying on pants, I'll take this and I'll wrap it around my neck and see if the ends touch. If the ends touch, it'll usually fit because your waist is usually double your neck size. So that's just a little quick 
tip if you don't like trying things on but super happy about this skirt and i cannot wait to style this i'm probably gonna maybe i'll shoot this before i go to miami but this is definitely coming to miami with me because i can definitely pair this with like my Lido mules from Bottega, which are this color. Really, really great purchase. This was $200. Originally, I feel like it was like $800. And I was not about to pay that much for this skirt. Sorry. Now, the next skirt. Now, the piece of these, this I had been looking for. This one I had seen and I was unsure until I tried it on. And I was like, you know what? I got to get it. And it is this Army Fatigue Midi Skirt. It's so cool. It has like a little slit. It has that army fatigue with that like paisley print and white over top. And I just think this is so cool. It doesn't look like much with me holding it, but it does have like a little flowing slit in the front. It's fairly long. I think it hits me about mid calf ankle length and it fits perfectly. It has a little zipper here on the side. Now this is like a statement skirt. I love army fatigue. <laughs> Even in my first fall collection with Sanji, we created an army fatigue paper bag waist pant. People still ask about those pants till this day because camo is a pattern, if you will, that will never go out of style. Like army fatigue will always be in style. And to have it in such a really cool skirt, ugh. And it's the white for me. I can see myself wearing this with my white Balenciaga pumps and like a white cropped long sleeve um and really i can see myself wearing this to paris fashion week and it just being a moment i can wear it with i can wear this with boots i have a pair of white boots that'll look great with this i can wear this with sandals and a crop top in miami um i can wear it here in new york like this is a piece that's just it's seasonless it's timeless it's trendy but not too trendy and i love it and again this was a sample as you can see I paid 200 for this one as well and I love it and I cannot wait to style it. Seriously, I, I feel like next next year, maybe in February, I'll end up going to Paris for Paris Fashion Week and I'm definitely gonna pack this. Now, last but not least, I love the Cecile Bonson dresses. They're very, very girly and in that sense, they're not quite my style but i love seeing other people style them like my girl janae she kills those baby doll dresses toughens it up with like a combat boot and so that's kind of the vision i had for this piece that i got and i love it so what i got is this sheer dress so this part here goes around your bust it has super delicate tiny straps and then it's open in the back and you just kind of crisscross tie it with these little strings. And it's a very long, like baby doll maxi dress, but it's sheer. And it's super long guys, like super long and open in the back. The plans I have for this is to wear this as a shirt. Um, <laughs> because it's see-through, I'm probably gonna wear this in Miami. Like I'm not gonna wear a bra with it. I'm just not. I might, I might wear a baby suit top with it or some pasties, but really I don't care. And what I plan to do is pair it with like some denim cutoff shorts and like combat boots or black heeled sandals. And I think it's gonna be such a vibe. Like I know this is very dressy. So the way I plan on styling it is dressing it down with denim shorts, definitely a cutoff that you could see through the dress and see them and like a cute little mule cute little bag uh maybe even like a bucket hat like i have plans for this this is i'm gonna wear this in miami at some point but that's what i got this for i think it'll be a statement piece in my wardrobe and just really cool and i'm glad to finally own a piece from the brand because this is something that i think is closest to my own style all right guys so that is everything that i picked up from the sample sale and then after the sample sale i was starving and so i headed over to one of my favorite restaurants the dutch and i got some of their hot chicken which is so delicious it comes with this coleslaw 
and like two honey butter biscuits and it was delicious. Of course I got a French 75 and then I made my way home. So I also wanted to share one more new end thing that I got. I just got this in the mail. It is from Styles by Nat. You can follow her on Instagram. I actually met her while I was out in LA shooting my collection with Sanji. Um, she is a good friend of our photographer and she was kind of helping with like behind the scenes video for that vlog as well. But she was wearing this amazing belt and I found out that she designed the belt herself and she actually sent me one. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. It is a new black owned business for you all to support and check out. Here is the website, but I will also link it down below. I think she sent me a few things. Shop Nat Nack's Closet. And I hope I'm saying Nack correctly. There's a little note in here. Monroe, I'm so excited for you to be the first to get your hands on this belt bag. I can't wait to see how you style it up. I also put a little extra something in there that I thought you might like. Talk to you soon. Love, Neck. So on Instagram, it's Shop Next Closet, and the website is shopnextcloset.com. Oh, this is so sweet. I love her packaging. So, what is this? Oh my god i love this okay guys she sent me this bodysuit it's like a sheer colorful with geometric print on it bodysuit how cool it smells amazing too this is so cute oh this is so perfect for miami girl you know me you know me you know me good thank you so much for this this is super cute. I didn't even see this on her website. This is a size medium, which I am a medium. Okay, so here we go. So this is what she had on. And when I saw it, I was like, girl, where did you get that? Cause I want to buy it. Packaging is impeccable. Oh, I cannot wait for you guys to see this. If you are really into statement belts, I actually did a blog post about statement belts on my blog, Fashion Steel NYC. I did statement belts for every price point. And then to coincide with that, I did a reel showing how to style the Loewe belt. The Loewe belt is incredible, but of course it's very expensive. But this belt is, in, is equally incredible, will equally make any outfit stand out and it's way more affordable and of course a black owned business look at this you guys oh look at that quality so it is like kind of like sneak almost embossed oh it's so incredible and then it comes with a belt that is adjustable and i do believe she's coming out with a few colors but this is just stunning because you can wear it almost like a peplum with one pocket on the side like so and it'll give you that shape that figure oh i absolutely love it it feels so smooth it has a pocket here in the front with a magnetic closure oh this is so cute and this pocket doesn't have a zipper which you can easily just toss a card in there o m g I am loving it. Oh my gosh. It looks so good with this Lulu's dress too. And just think, you can wear this with jeans, you can wear this with a dress, you can wear this over a trench coat for the winter to give yourself some more shape. Oh, you can also, if you want, they don't both have to be on one side. You can do a back front type of thing. Ugh. This will also look really cute with like some cargo pants or even a skirt. Can you see this with like a midi skirt? Anything you kind of want to toughen up. Absolutely stunning. Style by Knack. I will link her down below. Give her a follow on Instagram. Check out her shop. And shout out girl for sending this over. You want to support a female black owned business. Oh, I just see here. She has um, her logo there. How nice. The back of this against your body is like, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Is it velvet? Felt. It's super smooth against your skin. So it's not going to ruin any of your clothes. 
I cannot wait to wear this. All right, guys, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Special thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Remember to check out the Kemper Lulu's collaboration collection over on their website. Everything you saw in the Lulu's haul, I've linked down below in the description box. Everything else you saw in the video is also linked down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video all right guys i'm gonna throw on a boot in my new lulu's dress and head out to lunch and i will see you all in the next one bye guys